Let me ask you this. We, do you think that um, in this day and age, men have become very comfortable having long form dialogue about other men, right? <laughs> what do you think is the, the root cause of this? And why have we normalized this? Like we've normalized this in society where it's not even, it's not even a, a thing to even bat an eye at anymore because like, you know, growing up, I was always taught to just, you know, not really talk a lot unless you have something to say or unless you learn yeah. from it. But especially like if you, if you have a problem with somebody, right? You don't really speak like publicly for hours about that person. Like that's yeah. like not a characteristic of a man. But I see now people are like, oh, like he's such a man's man. For why is he a man's man? Because he goes on Instagram and talks for an hour about another person. And this yeah. happens across the board, music industry, um, with every situation. It's like it the this this is a whole culture that has developed. So how do we how do we get here? And what's your thoughts on it? Um, I think men are the new bitches, ladies, yes or no. Men gossip way more than, like, I even have to tell some men, like, yo, don't pillow talk. Hmm. Like, it, it's damn near should be a sin and charge to pillow talk of with somebody that you were intimate with. Like, that's not the world's business to know. But I think because people are not focused on their careers, their lives, their family, and they're looking for attention online, they're trying to take gossip and turn it into a vehicle for success. Um, I want to knock on the table and let y'all know that gossip industry doesn't pay as well as you think. So I, when we, once we get to, done talking about the mother situations, we're going to talk about some of the media situations where people are selling their souls for an interview um, or access to be around certain stuff. Like I think it's happening because men are not comfortable within in themselves. And also too, they may not have been raised by men. It's a trait that I see a lot too. Like if a man is not raised by men or you don't have men that will check you, you'll do a lot of bitch ass shit. No, that, that's a fair. Well, it's very insightful what you said. And it's, it's a few things. The first thing is that um, there's a lot of guys out here that's pillow talking. That's insane. That's pillow talking with women that they're not having sex with. <laughs> right? <laughs> Riddle me that. Riddle me that you Crazy. pillow talking, you pillow talking with women that you're not even having sex with them. Go figure. Hey girl. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. But um, no, you bring up a good point as far as um I never forget, like when I was young, I was playing ball and um I was like a kid, like 12 years old, something like that. And it was like you know, one kid on the team, he was like really, really talented, but he was just like a head case. Like he used to always like argue and catch like you know panic attacks and like you know he, he just was very emotionally unstable right and um i remember my dad was talking to one of the, my other teammates dad and he was saying like yeah you know I, i'm pretty sure like you know the kid he probably don't have a father in his life mm -hmm. and he's taking on the, the characteristics of women and i never forget that i remember that and not fast forward to even like my son playing right and i see like you know he was playing on the team before and I, these couple kids and they was like cry babies, always crying, breaking down on the court and tantrums. Yeah. And I just looked at, I just started to, I started to, to just observe the situation of the crowd. Yeah. And I, I realized that I never saw their father ever, ever in the crowd. Yeah. I, I've only, I only see their mothers, their sisters and the mother's always like trying to consult them and like hold their head. Like, no, it's okay. baby. As they should. But that's why you need the other energy. So what I'm saying is that that was something that was deep. I never really thought about it like that, where it's like, you know, a mother's energy is is nurturing, right? Yep. And and they allow a lot of things that men don't allow. Also, on the behavior side, a lot of times women can be emotional, right? Not to say that every single woman is emotional all the time. Yep. But, you know, women are usually more emotional than men. At least they used to be. So now it's like if you're growing up and this is this is your this is your visual example of all you're seeing is your mother, your aunts, your grandmother, their friends, right? Now you you take on characteristics of what you see, right? It's hard mm -hmm. to discipline a, a son if you're a woman. So now you really have no discipline 
you're you're taking on the emotional characteristics that you're seeing with your mother by the and, and you have no level of balance because you don't have a father figure in your life right and that plays out and i've seen it i see it firsthand like i said i was just doing a, i was doing a, a case study and yeah. i'm like all the kids on my on my son's team that have fathers they didn't act like that all the kids that their father not all the kids but some of the kids whose fathers was not there they all acted the same. They yeah. were all wild, running, crying, uncontrollable, arguing with the coach. And it was like, damn, like that's real. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So your point as far as like the men that, cause I remember growing up and, and my mom used to watch like soap operas. And like, I remember like Whitney Williams, shout out to her, I hope she, you know, gets better, but Whitney Williams, right? And like, I, like gossip used to be a woman's thing, right? It used yep. to be a woman's thing where they actually, they would go and they would watch the soap operas. They would watch Whitney Williams. They would watch all of these different programming during the daytime. And, you know, you talk even like I hear my mom, like on the phone with hours and she would talk to her friends about the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like this, that was, that was a characteristic. I never really saw my dad do that. Like I saw my dad like go to work and, you know, you have conversations, but I'd never seen him talk for hours. Yeah. Never in life saw my dad talk for hours on the phone about, another one of his friends or another dude or another, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he was just busy. Like it wasn't something that was even on the radar, but fast forward to today in this day and age, yep. I'm seeing men, grown men on Instagram, on YouTube, on all of these different platforms talk for hours about other men. And yeah. sometimes they talk about women <laughs> for hours. Right. And so it, it's, it's just mind boggling to me because I'm like, damn, like this is this is like a whole generation. And like I said, the sad thing about it is that it's just become normalized and people just like accept it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah no, it's cool. Like, It's a new era. Even when um, April was on last week, like when it got posted up on IG, I had to tell fellas, like, stop having negative things to say about women in my comments. You wouldn't have had to do that 15 years ago. Like you're arguing with women and comments about april's post as a woman this shit makes no that's why i was, fellas i know y'all say i'll be pandering but there's a crop of men when women get frustrated i understand why even going back to april's like conversation there's a bunch of women who've been told by their moms grandmas and aunties not to get married because it's just not worth it because they got treated like fucking slaves like and the dude's creeping and not taking care of what he was supposed to and not pounding right Hey, you got too many liabilities on the books, my boy. And, but and I let, think let me talk about one thing too, because you know I have mentioned the polygamy idea a few a few different times, and I, I'm I'm obviously not against polygamy. I think that everybody should be able to make an informed decision for yourself. But let let me let me just say this: if you're not in a financial situation to take care of one woman, don't even you shouldn't even be considering having multiple wives or multiple partners right like this they like, this is not how this thing works like you have to like <sighs> or if he get her to take care of the whole tribe <laughs> no, but it's not how it's, <laughs> well, me try it's not how we're trying it's not how it works it's there's rules to this right you got to be able to take care and provide for everyone equally um and it look stay in your lane right stay mm. in your lane let's not try to drive a Ferrari before we get our license. 